When you're starting to get into larger or more detailed 3D models in SketchUp, you're going to face the inevitable lag. You should always consider the specs of your computer and if you need to upgrade them, but even a high-end modeling computer can face the wrath of SketchUp lag with a big enough model. Stretch out your computer's capabilities with these workflow tips. You've probably already noticed that if you turn off textures, shadow, and fog, things will speed up again. You can also then go to the transparency settings in your style and set the transparency quality to be faster. One trick you might not be using yet is to set up a working scene that sets all of these options as standard. First, as we already mentioned, turn off your textures, shadows, and fog. Then from the scene window, add a new scene, moving it to the top of your scene list. Call it working. Now uncheck include an animation. This will make sure that this scene is not included if you create an animation of your scenes, or if you use an animation tool to export multiple scenes as JPEGs or PNGs at once. Then also uncheck Camera Location. This way, when you choose this working scene, your camera will stay where you're trying to work. Keep everything else checked. Right-click your working scene and select Update Scene to save the changes. Now, when you're running through your scenes to make sure everything's good, if you notice an issue, you can simply turn on your working scene and get to work. Still laggy? Try also setting your working scene to automatically turn off geometry-heavy objects like trees, people, and cars. Make sure that you right-click and update your scene with any changes. Since your Visible Layers option is selected, your working scene will remember to turn these layers off so you can free up some performance speed. Turn any of these layers back on manually if you need them while working. Your other scenes will also have visible layers checked, so when you go back to them, those staging components will turn back on with your style and shadow settings, and you can go ahead and export your final images. You can also export your scenes with your working scene turned on to minimize lag time since it won't be included with the final image exports. With your working scene all set up, you're now giving yourself some leeway on your graphics card, and now you can push the boundaries of the realism of your models. This has been your Power Tip with Land Effects, giving you the speed you need to do more with your design.